It's Random Man back again. I know I just recorded two minutes ago, but I, I figured it was high time I made another one. Um, this video is gonna be about my vacuum. Like I said, my previous video was about fish tank filters, but it was only 30 seconds long. So, um, I like my channel name implies, I am the Random Man, so I'm gonna make videos about random stuff. This video is gonna be the Kirby G5. It's my favorite vacuum. Here is why. It's super easy to maintain. I'm sorry if I have some thumb cam moments, but I'm new to this. Boom. This is one reason I like it. It's so easy to take apart. And this, the motor is r right there. Sorry, I'm not looking at the viewfinder. Um, so that gives it a ton of power. So, yeah, that really helps it. Oh, that really helps it. I'm sorry, I'm just bad at this, but I'll get better. So, and it's so easy to put back together, but you can just take it apart by pushing these off, but I don't want to do it on because it's unnecessary right now. One second. Okay. Sorry, I didn't pause. But I am going to put this back on. Okay, I forgot to pause again. So, but I'll actually pause later, but... So many people think it sucks just because, well, it does suck, it's a vacuum, but so many people think it's horrible because it's a bag, a bag vacuum, but oh. I think differently. These bags hold a lot of dirt, so, yeah, but it's got a nice and long cord. You can buy 50 foot cords, this is just a 35 foot, um, and... Oh, sorry. Finger cam. Um, and toe touch control. Which really helps. And it's a really heavy machine, so... It's, he it's hard to lug up and down the stairs. That's one thing I don't like about it, but... It's got tech drive. That makes it so it's easier to push when it's on, but... When it's off, it just locks it up. So, yeah. Um... And those are some of my thoughts on the Kirby. Super easy to maintain. It's my favorite vacuum out of my whole collection. Yeah, I know. I'm weird. I have a collection, but... That is my thoughts on the Kirby G5. Bye-bye.